what is up guys welcome back to the channel so it's your boy edward here and i just want to discuss some things uh first i'm just gonna get into the basic content stuff because I, I don't really have much content at all to be fair uh you know we don't even have team we don't even have our truth i don't even think my team did bother again him because he's just like a weak car and we're all full decked already so he just doesn't make any sense like yeah sure we could get our truth but pff, my uh we just don't really don't care i don't really care but uh, I got like three login bonuses to do right now, so I guess I'll just do that. It's gonna be a lot of clicking because of these uh, bars, which I could use because I don't have any bars. So it's nice, I like bars, bars are very nice. We get credits too as well. I'll probably spend these credits on uh, on the fusion to speed it up because yeah, it's another reason. It's gonna be like, I'm probably gonna get around like 400 something credits total. So I'll definitely speed it up for you guys and Give you a little more content. Let's see if we can get that Peyton Royce. Or we're going to get probably Lars Sullivan. All right. And the Shattered Mail. This should be fun. There's the 200 credits I've been looking for. Hello, credits. How you doing? So, yeah. I'll definitely speed up the fusion for you guys. And our Shattered card is the Undertaker. Or the best Shattered card you can probably get. So, uh, if I was Shattered here, I would I would have been really happy with that. Sadly, I'm WrestleMania++. Plus <laughs> Plus. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, actually, let's go ahead and speed up this fusion. Uh, I think I only got like five hours or something on it. First things first, I want to activate this. This is going to take some time. Yikes. All right, so we have WrestleMania Gold Fusion. It is 500 credits. Uh, I don't mind. I just made 500 credits just now. Well, about 500 Got about 450 out of that login. This is 2 150. So 250 and 2 450. So this was pretty much free ish. And uh, it's a new card. And oh god, that sucks ass. Lars, shitty ass, hairy ass Sullivan. Yikes. All right, that's, that's a bummer. That really was a bummer, but what can you do about it? Uh, I don't know why I went to enhancements. Yikes. Uh, filter racing. There we go. So that's a bummer. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Anyways, let me cut the video for a second. All right, guys. So I want to do something different in this video. You know, I've been talking to a lot of people and they're telling me, you know, Ed, one day I want to be a YouTuber. Is it hard? I'm nervous. You know, can I do it? You know, Ed, I want to be just like you and stuff. And I tell people like, hey, YouTube is not a hard job to do. It is actually one of the easiest jobs I've ever done in my life. You know, if you're able to sit in a camera, no one around you, it is pretty simple. And as long as you provide the content with it, anyone can succeed on YouTube as much as it scares you at the same time. It is, after you start doing it over and over again, you just get used to it and you sit there and go, wow, I look stupid at times. That's what, that's what made me feel. Like when I was talking to a damn camera, my brother, my mother would just look at me and like, wow, this this stupid ass is making, you know, do, get, I'm getting money for this. Like, really? People actually watch this crap? And I tell, I tell them, yeah, people watch this. You'd be surprised. Fuck yeah, we watch this shit. And uh, now they shut up after I, I'm like, hey, here's part of my, here's part of the money that I didn't make for that month. And, and they go, okay, you know, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Of course... If they, if this was my main job, they would beat the shit out of me because you know you you don't make much as a YouTuber. As much as people act like you make a lot, you don't. If you're getting like a hundred thousand views a month, you know, prepare for between a one hundred to two hundred fifty dollar paycheck and not really much more, unless you had like super chats and other stuff like that. That's because as you guys didn't know, super chat gets added to the revenue that you make on ads and stuff like that. So that anyone confuse anyone. So, here I'm gonna give you guys tips on how to be successful YouTubers. Uh, from from my point of view, do I feel successful? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I feel successful. And I'll give you, I, you guys can give you some tips to avoid that I've done in the past. So let's just get right into it. So yeah, the first most important tip to have is an amazing computer. You want to have an amazing computer that's, you know, good spec wise, good memory, good graphics card, able to handle an emulator and record have and pretty much 
You want to have a good mic, a good camera. Now, if you guys want to know my total setup costs, I bought this computer about two and a half, three years ago. I paid about $1,600 for it. I bought my microphone as well. It was 130 at the time, which is the Yeti. And I also had the Logitech C920. I think I paid about 70 when I bought that as well. But all these prices are probably lower now. My computer is probably worth like $1,100, $1,200 on the market now. It's gone down pretty high. I would say it's not down a lot because of the graphic card problem out there in the world. But uh, yeah, it's gone down in value, of course. But you know, I do have like 16 gigabytes in mem of DDR4 memory. You know, I got the GTX 970 graphics card. You know, everyone has like not like the 1080 Ti and shit like that. But yeah, as long as you have a decent computer, that is the most important thing to start uh, when you stream. And I would say you know maybe $800 will be like a good computer range. I usually it's about $800. I know that's a lot, but I know a lot of you already have a PC, so good on you. The next tip is to actually have content. Now, for me, I don't I don't like really approve of people using other people's contents. It kind of because at the end of the day, are you gonna pay those people that you took their content from? Like for me. I only take people's content for like the first week of something brand new, like a brand new tier, like the first one. And I'm like, hey, I'll use that in my video. Sure, why not? I'll, lo I'll love it. And that's it. I never use that people's content ever again for the remainder of the season because I would feel like I'll be obligated to pay them if I took their content. That is stuff they worked for. That is their stuff that you are using for your own gain. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of it, but if you got a friend or someone like that who's willing to do it, I guess it's okay. Or a boyfriend, girlfriend, a family member. <laughs> I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, but if they can help you provide content, get, get content that actually people like to see. You know people like pack openings. It does get stale after a time. Not everyone likes to pack openings after a while. You got to play the events. Uh, do things that people want to see, of course, in YouTube videos. And I'm pretty sure you'll eventually gain an audience. Your views will be low at first, but they dramatically increase as time goes forward. Don't expect to be a guy to get a thousand subs like this and this and this, and then you just, just feel like quitting. YouTube doesn't work like that. you got to make a name for yourself, and eventually people will start watching you. It'll take time. It took me... I would say maybe three months, four months to finally see those numbers started going up. And then I exploded because people loved when I played PCC and was giving King of the Ring awards every damn day pretty much. Well, back then it was like two days because of the whole King of the Ring format. But, you know, people enjoyed that. And, you know, in one season I've gained over 9,000 subscribers for season one. And now here's goes to my next, my next tip. Don't go inactive. I went inactive from seasons two to four. Pretty much, I was very inactive. I would say during that, I would I gained maybe a thousand subs. I lost like maybe a thousand something subs as well. Just being inactive, I was losing like a hundred subs a month. I lost two hundred subs a month. And for me back then, it was for me because I just didn't care about YouTube at the time. YouTube was just mad to me, you know. I you know. For me, I was I just didn't care about YouTube. I just cared about playing the game at that point. I didn't realize I had a whole community behind my back. And I kind of neglected them at the same time. And I felt bad. I'm like, damn, I really effed up when it came to YouTube. And, uh, you know, I, I had less time on my hand. Because season one, I was jobless. And then season two, I finally got a job. It's because, you know, Supercar was free and easy to do back then. So I got a job for season two, season three, season four. I've had a job. And season five, currently I've had a job. And it just messed up everything, like schedule-wise. Fortunately for me, when I went to in season five, my schedule, I was morning crew for my job, and then I switched to the night crew. It benefited me way more, and it's benefited me so much now that I look at it. So thank God I made that switch, because if I was morning crew today, I don't know how decent I would be, because all my videos would have been released at nighttime. And my peak time for me is around between 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. That's around my peak times. So that's another tip. Look for your peak times, what people like to watch you between 12 and 3 o'clock. 
for me some people could be different because you know time zones so that's another tip you should take into consideration now let's get into stuff that it's tips but it's also could lead into negativity uh yeah clickbait <laughs> clickbait as a channel like me i have never ever 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 once yet have clickbait my audience at all there's no point of me clickbaiting my audience because i don't see the value sure i know if i clickbait y'all i'll get views maybe some subs but if i do that i would feel like a fucking asshole i don't have it in me to clickbait you i would like there's super card youtubers out there who will fucking clickbait you like that i swear to god i've seen it live i was there I've seen a lot of YouTubers clickbait the living shit out of you. And I can tell you right now, if you go back, if you look at everyone's videos today, there's guaranteed one person who clickbaited today. Guaranteed. Happens every other day, maybe every other week. But I guarantee you, they're gonna clickbait you. And you guys could do it if you want, but it couldn't leave a negative impact on you. I don't recommend it because I think it's tra trashy and classless. But... The rules to clickbaiting, uh, the thumbnail. If the thumbnail doesn't match the video that you're saying, then you obviously you're lying about it. So say today I post, like today, I'm gonna post a QR code on my thumbnail. Smart people will go, the QR is reader is broken. Clickbait. But you know why the, that person's gonna post that QR code? For the people who don't understand it, they're going to click the video, realize no one's going to scan that QR code because there is no QR code to begin with. They're going to click it and then they're just going to realize, oh, they just talked about it. And then, But there was a QR code in the thumbnail which made you click it in the first place. You got jabated. That's unfortunately the way YouTube is, you know. So watch out for that shit. But if, but hey, you guys could do that. And you'll get your views for one day, your subs for one day. Well, subs, it could backfire. But you'll get your views for the day. You'll be like, I made 500 views in an hour. Wow, 400 views. I see, I think most people do this when their views are sh like struggling to hit. Like for me right now, I'm getting about 1.5, 2.5, 3K range. Those are where my views are at. So I know my views are not in panic mode where if it was like a thousand eight hundred nine hundred so i know i'm not in that range of whoo i'm panicking but yeah guys uh, be careful with clickbaiting it could totally backfire on you people don't like clickbaiters i'll tell you right now it'll benefit you for one day but it could also backfire you in one entire day be careful of the clickbaiters and you know who the clickbaiters are in this community uh be careful <laughs> it could happen <laughs> all right uh what else did i talk about and then i guess uh how hard is doing youtube videos like what does it take you to do per day uh pretty simple man if you guys want to know the exact how long it takes me to make a video make a thumbnail you know edit some stuff here and there render it if you guys want to know the honest truth for me on an average it takes me roughly 30 minutes in a day. 30 fucking minutes. Now, I know my thumbnails aren't like, holy shit. You know, I just bunch of them up together, what you're going to see in the video, and that's it. I, I mean, for me, I feel like that's one reason I haven't grown is because of my thumbnails. But I just like to keep it basic, you know. Just post what you're going to see in the video and then move on with my day. And, you know, making the content, depending on how long the video is, it'll take me about 8 to 12 minutes. Because usually my videos are about 8 minutes long, 9 minutes long. I never really hit that 10 minute mark. That's everyone's goal. Really? You gotta call me now? I apologize about that. Anyway, like I was saying, so yeah, it takes me roughly about 30 to 45 minutes to make a YouTube video with all the stuff. And then maybe like 5 minutes to advertise it that's about it so if anyone tells you youtube is a really a hard job and it takes hours and hours and hours just don't just don't listen to them they make it that way on themselves because they want everything to be perfect thumbnail has to be perfect the video has to guarantee be perfect not necessarily you know 
it doesn't work like that in Supercar at least. You know, I've seen JB edit his videos. It took him maybe about an hour, and but he's pretty well known with the whole thing. So it's like, I don't think it's a big, big, big deal. So, you know, say, you, you, say YouTube's your job. 30 minutes, you got 23 and a half hours to do with the rest of your day. What are you gonna do? God, who knows? I'll tell you right now, you're not gonna survive with the YouTube monthly salary, so God bless those who makes YouTube their job with, uh, you know, getting like 100K views a month because you're, 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 you're guaranteed living off either your family or, you know, wh whoever you live with. You're living off of them because you, know, you ain't surviving out in the real world with that YouTube salary at 100,000 views, which is why I say, you guys, have another job if you're doing YouTube because, honestly, unless you're getting like 1.5 million in views a month, I would say is like the best range. If you're not getting at least 1.5, having this as a job, unless you got someone supporting you, is completely death. You will not survive. Like me, I gotta, I gotta pay over around a thousand some dollars in bills that I have to do for myself. So you know, if I lived off YouTube, I would be $800 a month short every single effing time, and I would get my ass kicked out. We eventually get kicked out, but yeah, I pay my bills because I work and. That's what you need to do. You need to work and do YouTube. Like I said, it takes 30 minutes every day. 30 minutes. Just some advice. So, yeah. And, guys, just don't be afraid of the camera. Don't be afraid. Look at, look at me. I'm a fat, ugly motherfucker. I'm proud to say that. I love pizza. And wings. And everything else that has chicken in it. But that's just me. Don't be afraid of the camera. Haters, you're, gonna, you're always going to have haters on YouTube. You either ignore them. You could fight back. Either way, you know... Just keep doing you, and you should be fine. So those are my tips on how to be a YouTuber. Hopefully, a lot of you are inspired to become a YouTuber. I would love to see you guys. If you guys want me to check out your content, go ahead and leave a comment. Like, I have no problem checking out your contents. It's, it's great. I shouted out 10, 10, 11 YouTubers at the start of the season. Maybe you could be the next one I shout out. You never know. Just keep doing what you got to do. And I'll see you guys. Uh, tom I don't know. Tomorrow I'll have a video. I'll try to have the Ring Dom preview up. If not, I'll see you Thursday. I'm out.